Hello, welcome to Me with Margaret. This is me, Margaret Taribo, speaking, talking about topics that are about our engagement, our motivation, our education, and even our, you know, whatever you want to call it. Because I believe that in such, at such a time as this, we need to keep on doing what we're doing so that we feel and do what we need to be and to do what we need to do. So thank you for joining me today. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share our topics because these topics might not necessarily be for you. It might be for someone that you know. So this month, I'll be, I, I, as I've said before, it's all about our men. So today, I'm going to be talking about the truth about men. The truth about men. Please don't take this the wrong way, guys. But I want to use this episode to focus on our men like never before. Not in a bad way, but in a much more positive way. A lot has been going on and a lot is being said about men. It's either they're aggressive, they are sexist, or they're domineering. And you know what? This may be true. It can be true in many cases or in many cultures. However, I'm not saying that we shouldn't talk about it from this angle, but we also need to have a balance and cut men some slack. And we can only do this by looking at some elements or some facts or truths that have been proved, not only through statistics, but also through various studies and also research. So join me and let's look at some of this. Why? Because all the things that are going on in the home, in the family and the workplace about men, it causes there to be so much of struggle. And I believe that this is very sad. Why? Because they're not being able to be men the way they want to. And this takes me back to a book I read some years ago. It was a long time ago. This book was about, uh, was about men and women and it was written by John Gray. The title is Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. This book highlights the fact that men and women, they are climated, they, are, they, they, they belong to their own worlds. You know, what they believe in. A man and a woman have their own customs, they have their own society, they have what they do. So they're different. So if men are from Mars and women, and women are from Venus, what are the truth about that? Let's look at that. The first point I want to make here is that men have instincts and emotions and feelings and they approach situations differently from us as women. And that's the truth. It's not about being better or worse. It's just different. So whether you're a male or whether you're a female, we need to understand that both genders have their own strengths and weaknesses. And I believe that that's what we're missing in today's world. Let's look at the way men talk. They do talk, don't get us wrong. Because people say, oh, women talk more than men or men don't talk as much as women. That is a myth. Men talk as much as women when they feel connected. So connection is the key. If they can connect to you, they will talk. But the issue is men do worry that if they open up, somebody might laugh at them and that might leave them rejected and humiliated it's because of their, how they feel. So if a man feels that you're going to judge him or you're going to look at him differently because of what he says, you can be sure that he's not going to say anything. And this happens a lot in our relationships. So for men to be men, they need to be able to express themselves both to each other and to women without feeling that they're being thought of as a less of a person or less of a man. They really need to feel that they can contribute. They need to feel that they can add value. They need to feel appreciated in doing what they do, no matter how small, because we're quick to judge them that you did that rubbish. You don't know. You didn't know how to clean that plate. You didn't know how to, you know, take care of the baby. You didn't know how to take talk to your daughter or your son. 
but they're trying it anyway. So we need to think about this as we work together, as we endeavor to love, as we endeavor to respect, as we endeavor to care, as we endeavor to honor. We need to see each human being equally, but we shouldn't lose our identity and become confused about how to approach the other person. Because if we do this, we're going to make ourselves confused or we're going to feel that, you know, you're not me and I'm not you, but with that doesn't, you, 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 you need to be like I'm being or I need to do what you're doing. No, let's remember that men are intrinsically different from women. And the more understanding of these differences can only foster better relationships, especially in the family dynamic. So for fathers and their daughters, mothers and their sons, a sister and her brother, a husband and his wife. These are relationships that need to be fostered and they can be better if we understand that we are different and we understand and appreciate that fact so that we're not trying to be the same, but we appreciate our differences. I think our men will be better off and they will flow better. Thank you for watching me today. See you next time.